Of all the things the EU might have on its plate right now, it seems the most pressing issue for them right now is olive oil, of all things. Here's RT's Peter Oliver. From the start of next year, the European dining experience is set for a small change that could have potentially huge implications. After that deadline, restaurants won't be able to serve olive oil from small bottles like this that can be topped up. They're going to have to serve it from sealed bottles that can't be refilled. Now, this is being put into law from Brussels by the European Union, and it's going to come into effect, as I say, from the 1st of January next year. Now, to talk more about this and what it actually means, I'm joined by Steve Meisner from the German political organization, A Party of Reason. Steve, Hi. the EU surely has bigger things to worry about than this right now. I would think so. Um, this seems to be almost like a caricature of, of the, the EU with their, with their constant meddling in, in, in small problems and making small problems into big problems. And you would think they would have enough to do with the uh, euro currency problems and, and the, the debt crisis in Southern Europe. Mm. But no, here we go having to start dealing with um, yeah, restaurants and what they can serve in open carafes. Um, it's, it's sort of, it's, it's a joke, really. It also, it, it just smacks of a lack of self-awareness. The EU's under attack from many different sides. You've got people in Britain wanting to pull out of the union, and they go and live up to the stereotype of bonkers Brussels bureaucracy and make legislation about olive oil. Uh, it, there seems to be a real lack of self-awareness there, doesn't it? I don't know, they seem, seem to have too much time on their hands, perhaps. Maybe the problems in the EU aren't even big enough that, that they still have uh, energy and, 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 and tax money and bureaucrats to spare to uh, uh, expend on, on, on silly um, experiments like this or silly programs like this. Uh, maybe we have to cut down the whole size of the EU bureaucracy, but they just don't have A, that much money and B, that many bureaucrats, so they can't even come up with the, all these harebrained uh, schemes in the first place. This is definitely not something that needs to be done on a, on an international EU-wide basis. How are we going to serve our olive oil in the restaurants? I mean, I don't see the need for it at all. Well, there we go. Steve Meissner, thank you very much for talking to us. Um, olive oil topping the list of topics that the EU deem needs their attention right now.